hello and welcome to this tutorial today we are going to look at how to find a set of even numbers from one to a given number first I will declare a variable called number now the purpose of this variable is to hold any given number that I will input into the program so let me comment that to hold a given number or let me say inputs Alright, and because I'm going to input a number or the user is going to input a number in the program, I want to create a scanner object to handle input. So let me write something here, create a scanner object for input. Okay, I'm calling the scanner object in. Alright, so that is the scanner object and I've created a scanner object in to take input from the keyboard and if somebody is going to input something into the program, there should be an instruction telling the person that inputs this. So I want to print this out. So system.out.print and if somebody is going to type something in first, I want you to print something out to the console. So enter a number. Okay. And of course when the number is entered it will be handled by this variable. So when you enter a number that number will be handled by this variable. And now I'm calling the scanner objects because I want to call the um the scanner object methods. I want to call the scanner class methods to you know take the input and the method that I'm calling is the next int because of course I declared number as an integer so I have next int here all right so what this does is that there will be um, a statement asking the user to enter a number and after that number is entered it will be um, stored in the variable number now I now call my for loop and I declare a control variable I'm calling it I and I'll initialize it from one because we want to find a set of even numbers from one and this control variable will ensure that the for loop iterates when I is less than or equal to the number because of course we are saying that we want to find a sort of even number from one to a given number so say if the number is um, six then that means that the for loop will iterate um, for all conditions that is when i is less than or equal to six and after every iteration there is something that we call the update expression the control variable has to change value so here it is going to increase by one so that means it will start from one during the first iteration the second one it will go to two three four in that order Alright, so while the for loop cycles through the set of numbers that is from 1 up to the given number, the for loop must be looking at something. I want to print out the set of even numbers and an even number is a number that is exactly divisible by 2. That is when 2 divides an even number, the remainder is 0. So I will now call what we call the modulo divisor or the modulo operator to divide the set of numbers from 1 up to the given number. So that is what I'm doing. I am bringing an if condition that if at any point the number that I handles when you divide that number by 2 the remainder is equal to 0 then of course that is an even number. When you do that and it is equal to 0 that is an even number and if it is an even number I want you to print that number out. Of course, I'm looking for even numbers. So if you see that or if you find out that it's an even number, I want you to print I, then you leave space. So that is all. So let us try to understand what I have written here. So first, you start from 1 up to the number given. And for each iteration, if you divide the number by 2 and the remainder is equal to 0, there is a relational operator 
you know that is um, equal to in Java we use two equal signs for equal to the normal equal to is, is used for assignment and you can see it here um, yes it is here assignment operator here but there is the equal to that you find here that is a double equal to is um, an equal sign or a relational operator in Java so now when I run this program it wants me to enter a number then the program will cycle through the set of numbers from one up to the given number or the entered number and at each state the um, program will check if that number when divided by two is equal to zero if it is equal to zero it will print it out if it is not it will not be printed so now let me see let me uh, check it and see there is one more last thing here I call the scanner class I created a scanner object here and it is only appropriate that after everything you try to close it so let me close it here it is nice that I close it so close scanner object if you don't close it, it will still run, but I'll be wasting resources. That is a simple program, but let me try to do that. Okay, so now I don't see anything here. The um, ID was drawing my attention to that issue. All right, so now let me run it. All right, I want to enter the number 10. And when I press enter, it prints the set of even numbers from 1 up to 10. So 2 is an even number, 4 is an even number, 6 up to 10. So that is how it works. During the first iteration, the number is 1. But when you divide 1 by 2, the remainder is not 0. So that means this statement will not execute. Let me add a comment here. If the remainder after division is zero then print the number that is what it means during first iteration when you divide one by two you don't get zero so it will not be printed second iteration the update expression will increase the, the value of one sorry i from one to two so during second iteration the value of the i is two 2 divided by 2, remainder is 0. This statement will execute and print the 2 out. During the third iteration, it will increment or increase it to 3. 3 divided by 2 is not 0. It will not be printed. During the fourth iteration, 4 divided by 2, the remainder is 0. It will be printed out. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, up to 10. Thank you. And we'll meet again.